As a starting point to help explain the cycle graph better, we put up an animation of the press in action. So we see the screw moving forward. We see uh, this will show the filling of the part. You'll notice the green sensor here corresponds to the green sensor on the part and the blue sensor near the end of cavity corresponds to the blue sensor on the part. And as the screw moves, we can see the, the cavity filling and crossing over each of the sensors. You'll notice at the start of injection that uh, the, the screw will move forward. You'll see the part filling crossing over each of the sensors and, uh, and the, the, the packing stage, the pressurization stage, screw recovery here. Uh, this is now going blank as we open the mold and eject the part. To see this a little clearer, we're going to add uh, some pressure bars that will show the pressure of the plastic in front of the screw at the post gate sensor and near the end of cavity. As we mentioned before in the part, the green sensor here is this post gate sensor. The blue is the end of cavity sensor. And we can see during the, the filling process how the injection pressure rises and falls. And we'll see the cavity pressure data rise and fall uh, as plastic flows over the part. So here's our, you notice our injection pressure, our cavity pressure rising and falling. Uh, so this is uh, simply bars moving up and down. To make, to tie this back to the cycle graph, we're going to add a moving trace. So you can think of this as uh, adding a pen to the end of that bar. During injection, we can see the filling, we're in holding stage, screw recovery, and you can see how the pressures on the cavity pressure curves go up and down as well. Let's watch this one more cycle as we inject. The cavity pressures are both rising uh, during the packing process, then falling as the, the plastic inside the mold cools and shrinks away from the sensor. So this here gives you a, at least a representation of what each of the curves on the cycle graph are showing.